February is the month when we put our hearts first, both in love, but also in health. And here to tell us more about the heart and how to help our loved ones diagnosed with heart failure is nurse Christina Paris from the VA. So good morning to you, Christina. Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining us as always this morning. And uh, first of all, heart failure certainly sounds serious. Can you explain exactly what that means? Sure. So yes, it does sound serious, but it does not mean that the heart completely stops or fails. Um, although, it, you know, if, if we don't take care of our heart, that can certainly happen. But what it is, is it's that the blood, it, we can, the parts cannot pump uh, enough blood to get oxygen to the body. Um, and so that's, you know, the job of the heart is to take um, the deoxygenated or kind of the already used up blood from our body through our heart. And then it goes into our lungs, our lungs fill it with oxygen, and then it gets pumped back out to the body. So when we're talking about heart failure, we talk about two different types of heart failure, and that is one with what we call a reduced ejection fraction, or one that the ejection fraction is preserved. And the ejection fraction is just the amount of blood that is pumped out of the heart. So we kind of look just to see the effectiveness. Great, and are there, we're wondering, are there particular conditions or health complications that can lead to heart failure? Sure. So coronary artery disease, so that's like stiffening of the heart. Cardiomyopathy, so that's when the heart muscle is not able to relax normally. Um, there's heart valve diseases. Um, a lot of people have to get new valves put in, um, prolapsed valves, so they're not going in the right direction, high blood pressure, things like that can cause uh, heart failure. Gotcha. And can you tell us maybe some signs and symptoms that we need to look out for? Sure. So tracking your symptoms is really important in the treatment and even diagnosis of heart failure. So a lot of people will have shortness of breath, um, might require uh, sleeping with several pillows. So the doctor may ask you that, you know, where do you sleep or how do you sleep? And, and when they're asking you how you sleep, they want to know not just the quality, but are you sleeping in the recliner every night because you can't breathe the lay flat? Do you use a lot of pillows? Weakness lightheadedness, rapid heart rate, swelling in your legs and feet, that's really big. E even sometimes swelling in the belly um, can just be added water um, so your heart's not, not pumping effectively. Gotcha, some really good things to be looking out for. And uh, say in the scenario where my doctor may be concerned that I could have heart failure, uh, what tests would the doctor want to then do next? So absolutely, that's, that's really important. And a, a lot of patients will have these things done and not understand why. So if your doctor is suspecting that maybe you have heart failure, they're gonna order an ultrasound or an echocardiogram is what it is. It uses the high frequency sound waves to look just like we do with babies, only we're looking at the heart to see how well it's effectively pumping. We might look at a chest X-ray because that can give us um, an idea of the size of the heart. We'll do blood tests to see if there's um, extra hormones that can detect um, that your heart is not working right. Maybe even a cardiac cath where they actually go into your veins, up through your vessels and look at the heart. There's a lot of different things that they can do. And a stress test. So echo and stress tests are two number one. Gotcha. And you know, is this something that, you know, with, with the right treatment uh, can be eventually cured successfully? So it can't be cured, um, but it's a chronic long-term condition. So that means that it requires lifelong treatment. And with diet and lifestyle changes, taking medications, and sometimes even surgeries like stent placements or internal pacemakers. Um, but if you track your symptoms and you take your medications and you go through the treatments, you really can live a healthier life and you, and you can improve um, your output of your of the blood in, in your heart, uh, the way it works. So, yep, improvement, but not cure. <laughs> Perfect. It's so important to be uh, considering our hearts, especially during this month. And thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thank you.